Today I'm gonna test crazy Minecraft medieval themed build hacks to see how good they are in Minecraft. Guys, what's your least favorite meal? Mine is probably just soup in general, but ancient people love soup. And so here's a soup cauldron. <laughs> I mean, this one ain't for the, this ain't, ain't easy. Time to step it up guys, we're about to build this. Hey, it's a good start though. I mean, at least that far I got right. It's not bad so far. <laughs> Okay, so now it looks like what we do is we take two stairs. That looks so confusing, by the way, on the tutorial, but that's not that bad. Okay, God, this is weird. Why are we building with pistons? This is strange, folks, all right? Now, I'm assuming that we're gonna push those down. You know what? It's not bad. Get a little, guys, don't be afraid of redstone. It's not gonna bite. So you push it down twice. Push it down once right there, twice again into the dirt. Okay. Oh! Yo, this is it. We're done. We did it. That's actually super easy, guys. It's literally like not hard at all. And then you put water in here and then you have like an actual floating thing to cook stuff on. Put it on the wall in the back, folks. That is a 9-1. Check out the forge decorations. Yo, I'm always making forges. I need this one. Oh, oh, look at this. These are all different things you could do in a forge and that makes like a small furnace. So this is like the furnace he built. Yo, get that deep slate in here to make it look even more exotic. Okay, so I would say you do something like that. Then in the in the in the back portion of it, you want your like two furnaces kind of going way up to the sky, and like those would like go into your roof, like boom, boom, boom. It's a long chimney. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't it be like brick? Would that look better? We're gonna go with brick for now because it feels appropriate. We'll do a double slab with a look at this, a fence, a railing, then a slab. <laughs> It looks like a very fancy column. Then a trap door and then a chain from the trap door. By the way, trap door chains, next level idea. That's great. So we connect it there so that it looks like it's hauling up lava out of the bottom of the world through this. And maybe you could like break some of this and like put a little bit of lava down there instead of magma. Look at that. that that's kind of sweet. Place a block below it and break it. That way the lava flows in that direction as if you actually remove that piece of lava from it. This one is by far my favorite. I'm gonna hit it with an 8-6. That's an incredible score here. Well done. No, I feel like this is one that I personally have built like many times. Like I feel like I'm always making archery courses. So and already this banner design is so like so dynamic. Like you could use this in so many areas, right? Wow, that is great. I think the most important part is to get that banner thing correctly. So mine's gonna be a little bit different. Let's try this. Yo, I'm putting this one in my back pocket. That is instantly like Renaissance era looking. Like there's just no way around it. Take this, connect it to your fence, go all the way back. You are literally just creating the easiest archery range I've ever seen before. I, I feel, feel like I'm learning, learning so, so much in this video, video right now. Like if you guys enter like build battles and stuff, like you can join my server and like do build battles. This is like how you like cheat code and get first place. Watching these videos is gonna help you be the best builder. Except I say that, but can't. Nope. There it is. Got one of them. Can someone tell me a better way to freaking put these on? Oh, I broke. Oh my. Bro. I feel like I just sat there for 30 minutes trying to get those freaking things placed right there. But one of the other cool things is using redstone as a detail. I have never in my life seen someone use redstone as like a line. Like, hey, don't cross this. Like, that's so smart. This is just a whole vibe. I love it. I feel like I'm in the Renaissance fair. Never been to one. Never will go to one probably, but I still love it. 8.2. So you need a really cool medieval fireplace. This looks like a fireplace you'd see at some like super rich friend's house, but hey, it looks good. Look at them leaves. What kind of leaves? Look at the detail in those suckers. Wow, there's a lot here. I mean, this is like a build hack on, on steroids. Now I can't, I can't get enough of this deep slate stuff. So I'm going to commit to it right here today, but it looks like we have three coming around the side. Campfire is going to go in the middle on some dirt. So you got your cool staircase. Then you want to put a wall up. Okay. Honestly, it has like a weirdly modern vibe. Like this now feels like something you're going to see in the back of like a rich person's house. So like that's a build hack in its own for a beautiful fireplace. We can even add on to that. But look at these build hacks. My boy's making campfires, the seats. So he does this, put signs on the side and then trap the words behind it. This is like your own little mini build hack. This is like really cool. Look at this. It looks so good. So like of these three seats, I would say my favorite is just the simple log seat or this one. Like this one just looks so good. But we could do a little more, I think by like using chains here. See, that's kind of a cool look. I think my favorite design of this one that I've been messing with for a while is this chair and then chains on two sides, like on the front and on the back. This is really cool. I'm giving this one an 8.3. All right, literally everybody that plays Minecraft goes out and makes a fishing dock, but no one knows the best way except this guy. I think this might be the best one I've ever seen. So he uses campfires, barrels, and a little tiny fence pole with like a light. Like the simplicity of this is insane, but I think the detail that the campfires add, like this, this is, the detail it adds is just enough that when people see it, they're gonna be like, yo, you're a pretty good builder. So let's say we're making a dock off of this grass path right here. So it's only, what, three wide? Now it is a little bit expensive to get this much campfire action, but like, come on, it's gonna look so good. Like, look at this. Literally, it already looks so good. I mean, that just that is good enough. And then all you got to do is add your zone here. This is interesting. So we connect a fence to a fence, and it gives you a really nice looking lantern zone. And what's even cooler is, if you want to be a cursed witch, you can open that up for a little bit and just have a floating lantern. I mean, come on. What could you legitimately do to improve this? You have an area to store your fish, store your fishing rods and fishing gear. It's perfect. You could literally add your own boat dock parking right here and drive it out through the barrel. Does it fit? Well, it's just for show. It doesn't have to work. 
A fortune teller tent? Yo, this is crazy. Hold up, before we finish, let me go get my fortune told. Seems like I'm gonna get scammed here. But guys, my fortune says protect your boundaries regardless of how much you'd like to help someone in need, which means I'm cutting all you out of my life. I gotta protect my boundaries, I guess. Sorry guys, you're gone. If you guys have ever had your fortune telling, drop a comment down below if it was actually true, by the way. I'm, very, I'm gonna read them all, I'm really curious. So it looks like a circus tent already. Like, doesn't that feel fake to you, like fortune telling? But it looks good, I think. Oh, they use a beacon for the crystal ball. It already feels wrong. <laughs> I only place one block and it feels wrong. Like, how do you make a tent in Minecraft? Like, honestly, this is, this ain't easy. This feels correct to me. A little bit of a curse, like. I mean, it, it looks, honestly, it just kind of looks like an igloo man on wool. Like, maybe this is a secret ingredient right here. Bring it out the front and put a little bit of a fence down. And now it looks like a, that football helmet SpongeBob wears in that episode. How the heck did I make that? Now it looks like a Smurf hut. Guys, there's just no way to get this thing to look good. I'm going back to football helmet look. Definitely no windows in a place like this. Like, you got to keep it, like, locked away. You never know what you could find out there. <laughs> Exactly. All right, floor, I feel like uh, spruce is good, but like stripped logs probably looks a little fancier, you know? Like if a fortune teller is gonna rip you off, you know, they're gonna have some money to, to make that interior look quality. That's a great entrance. You walk into this, you know you're about to get scammed. So you sit there, she sits on this side and she goes, I don't really know what fortune tellers do. <laughs> it just looks more like an igloo. So let me read your fortune real quick while we're here. You will, you will fall in love. With this YouTube channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Sounds like we're making a medieval bar theme, little brewery back in the day. I think England still has these. Like, they haven't changed in a thousand years, so it still looks like that over there. All right, I like it. The taps look good. That's a, it's a good design. So it starts off already, like, this is like a classic design right here. Like, that literally just looks like anything. It just looks like, literally like a brewery, like a giant keg. Definitely have to, oh, God. Don't like that. Got to get your cauldron here, and then you got to get a lot of trap doors. I don't know, I don't know what kind of ancient tavern would have giant sea pickle cups up on the top shelf. Ain't nobody reaching that, by the way, from all the way down here at Loverfella Height. All right, you can't get that. We need a staircase or a ladder to get up there. There we go. Now, I don't know if these need taps, but I feel like it might look better. Guys, you combine all these together, you're gonna have like the ultimate medieval theme base. Like this is honestly clean. So medieval gallows. Now, if I'm not mistaken, gallows are the things on minecart or on uh, horse buggies, the wheels. Seems like I may have mistaken gallows yeah okay okay so it's actually the things they hang you on i was, I was a little bit off it turns out i feel like there's a lot of great detail on the edge i mean look at that using lecterns there that's probably where they like read the speech when you die like zachary was a great man who made minecraft videos pull the ladder wow so that's the final product right there it's incredible i think what we're gonna do is just make a, a mini version so that it's got a fair rating i don't want it to get extra points because it's bigger this one's gonna kind of push us to the limits like if you go out and make one like this the amount of detail in it is gonna make you a better builder or or it's gonna make you feel like you suck at building could do that as well all right, this is about to be the weird part. Y'all tell me you can do a lectern wall. How the heck? Oh, that's not good. So we're in a bit of a pickle here, to be honest. Now, this is the weird part. How did he do that? He like glitched these into the lecterns. Like, how is that possible? I think it's right above it, maybe. Like, you have to put this then. Do it. Okay. Like, to be honest, that's a vibe. Now to build the actual gallo portion. As I built for what felt like hours, I started to feel like maybe, just maybe, I was butchering the entire build. And so I did what any man would do. I started innovating. Guys, this innovation is not working. This looks horrible. It's not bad. It's not good. The thing is, like, when I look at his, I think, wow, that is clearly gallows where you're going to go to get hung. I look at mine and I think, wow, this is like just an old abandoned building with two random chains floating on it. Maybe a library because of the lecterns. I think the skull is a vibe. I mean, this is clearly the most complex one we've done so far today. Overall rating on this one, a whopping 8.2 on this build hack. Is this one really medieval? It's a scarecrow, it says. Going for the full 360 string, little composter action in there. That's gonna be the hat, I believe. It looks like something my grandma would wear, and I'm here for it. I'd be scared of my grandma on a freaking farm too. Composter, that's gonna be your body. I figured jack-o'-lantern, cause like, you know, Halloween vibes. We got Halloween coming up in real life. It's scarier too that way. If you're if you're an animal and you see this, like you're freaking out. I guess this is like a straw hat. Is that what we're going for here? Like a straw hat? I don't know why I called it a grandma hat. All right, that's the basic vibe. It, it, it definitely, like, I don't know, the hat to me does feel like like a grandma in a way. And I don't know how to fix that. Like, could you take off the edges? See, now, he's, now he looks like a train conductor. Or you could do a backwards cap. <laughs> oh no, no, he looks cool. Look, this thing looks six. I'm gonna give it a 6.2. So we've got a coal cart. No, I don't, I don't know. Did they use coal back in the day in medieval times? I guess they did to make iron. Yo, this is so cute. Look at this thing. Now, the basic build would appear to be simple. You would look at it and you think, wow, that looks so easy. But really, I have no clue how to do this. Like, there's a door here and there's a door here. And then I don't know what goes on past that. I mean, if you ask me if this looked like a cart, I'd tell you it looks like, kind of, I don't know. It looks like it's like a monster with two legs kind of walking. Like, it's hard to actually pull this shape off, I think. But nothing a little bit of signs can't help with, maybe. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. So you, you put a little slab action underneath it. That way, it's actually got a cart vibe to it. Yo, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. Help me out. Is that right? Is this good? 
I like how I literally have a source to look at, and I'm still over here butchering this thing. It looks more like a throne, like a horse-drawn buggy than anything. There we go. I feel like just a, a weirdly specific deep slate ore would look really cool here. Like, so now you get to sit here and you get to trek along. We're gonna get this 7.2. Market stall design number one. A new fish market stall design. Okay. I feel like it wouldn't be medieval without some sort of fish market we gotta test out. And maybe we can improve it. Although we haven't improved a lot of these. He's such a great builder already. The fine detail in this one really takes it to a new level. That is a fish stall if I've ever seen one. So ours is gonna be really built near the water. I mean, we're basically in the water for ours, but barrels become the corners and I think we'll do it just like that. That's probably good. And then we should probably add like a flooring here. Like I just feel like people should be able to walk. Probably the most innovative thing is just using these for the entire portion of the build. It's genius. Like the problem is, how do you actually place these? Like it's so hard to actually place these. This is gonna go side. How do, what, how did he? Mojang, can we make it a little easier to place trap doors? You boys trying to do some build here. I do like the chest too. Like that's a clever design. The little chest barrel wombo combo there. It looks good. Do you think medieval people had swim up bars? Because that's what we got now. You're able to swim up to this one. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you want up here. And then I feel like you need a little more medieval. Like every one of these builds is like all spruce. We need some more stone in here. <laughs> it looks bad. It's so thick. I'm going to hold my breath on this one because I feel like maybe my updates to make it look better is not the move so far. That's good. I feel like having some like glowing fish in the background like gives it a vibe and like maybe like you're also eating fish here. Like there's a lot of ways you could take this to, to just, you know, make it look however you want. There we go. There we go. So it's got the floating campfires. I know it's uneven, guys. It's just it's just how it's going to be. Walk back, do your bidding, get stuff taken care of. I'd give this one an 8.1. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to look that screen piece.